Guys, this is a DEFCOM 5. Definitely a DEFCOM. Is, it, is a 1 up higher than a 5? <laughs> there is a cold front in Houston, which has moved my plans around, and I'm so excited because I get to go to another haunted house tonight. And I get to wear it finally. Obviously, he's a hat. And um, we have a random cold front that's come through, and I've never been able to wear this hat at all like during Halloween because as you know, it's just absolutely crazy hot here all the time. That's so weird. There's a hair that died on my straightener. At Scream Fest, I believe it's one of the only actual haunted houses in Houston city limits. I could be wrong, so I'm gonna get check on that. Uh, there's outdoor activities. Like I think there's concerts. If you drink, there's um, I think free beverages for adults. And I mean the kind that the kids can't drink. So alcoholic beverages are free and we're gonna go check it out and see what it's all about. Uh, let's go again, here we go. This is the fun part for you guys because the next clip is gonna be right at the haunted house and I've got about a 45 minute drive ahead of me. Here we are, getting close to the exit. Just so you guys know, I have donned my, my jack mask and I don't care that I'm like a five year old. Buster. Hi. Hi. Oh, yes, they are. He's like twitching. That's freaky. Sorry, can't help you out. Hang out. Got a nice little eating area here for the brains. This is where you check in, I guess. We're going to go do the ticket thing here. You walk through there for some spookiness. <laughs> Looks like you guys can do a little bit of uh, paintball here too. That's kind of cool. Did not know that existed here. You ready? You ready? I'm ready to go pooping. If you want a drink, you gotta have this one. To get in to get this one, alright?
we just got through with the entire haunted house and had a blast. Um, I would definitely say this is friendly for all ages. You can bring like anybody here. There's no hesitation that needs to be had. And we're actually gonna go check out. There's a little like a zombie hunt thing out here. I don't know what it is, but right when you come outside, there's a little area. We're gonna check that out. Okay, so when you come out from being chainsaw chased, there's something called a zombie hunt. I think we should just leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out their paintball stuff, and these are the masks that come with it. It looks like Halo. Masks. <laughs> Everybody's masking up. So where are we going again? You said Newtown? Yes, we're going to the Newtown mall. Okay, and it's an exact replica of the one from the game, to the point where they have the clock tower and everything. So I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys that. This is year round, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Wow, this is a big old paintball field. So I get this is for kids. You can come train over here. Oh man, and this is a nice astroturf, so no muddy gunk, recycled astroturf. Oh my god, this is crazy. So these games each run 15 minutes. They also play in the dark and you can get glow in the dark uh, paint, paint balls. So. Nice. Okay, um, and here's the back side of it. Man, you guys, I've got to come out here and try this. You can see some of the leftover like glow from the paint balls up in here. Just walk through here real fast. It's nice and soft. A lot of good coverage for you guys. Ooh, there's upstairs too in there. Cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Let's see if I can. So this is probably not the most strategic place to be. <laughs> Just telling by the color concentration around here. So barrels is that map over there with so all the barrels back there, okay? And this is speedball right here. Okay. And we have the shooting range next to us. Oh, sorry. Okay. Shooting and range is in the dark. Right there is called crates. Yes, with the with the shipping crates in the back. Yeah. Perfect. That evidence. Grapes. <laughs> they are not grapes. Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> This is really cool too right here. This is a little bit harder on the ground here. No more astroturf. Wow. Hi. Bye bye. Now this guy is gonna stay here, but we're gonna head out. Sorry, man. <laughs> okay, we're back. The light is 
probably a little bit brighter than it should be, but I haven't figured out that whole like, you know, what level you should turn the lighting to. If you can see my face and I can still see like that little like camera button, we're good. I'm just getting back from Scream Fest here in Houston, Texas, and I have a lot to talk about. And I guess like a little bit more on this haunted house than others because they have something that happens all year round that I found pretty cool. So I guess I'll go through it even though you've already seen the footage. We will kind of like recap what I thought of it and you know the spooky level and who should go and maybe why you should go all year round. Sorry I have some severe hat hair. I just took this guy off and um, you know I guess I was really excited because like I said earlier it was a cool cool front here in Houston. It's already starting to heat up, so I guess I'll just pack them away all over again. I think previously I uh, have been to Scream Fest before. It's out towards, I guess, the hobby area a little bit, and um, you know, it's off of Gulf Freeway, I believe. That's what it was. And I, like I said, I've been there a few years ago and I couldn't remember it. I remember there being several different attractions and like a, a carnival area, but that's as far as my memory goes. So when we went this time, I was a little present, a little pleasantly surprised. I cannot talk anymore. I was pleasantly surprised with the parking situation. As you see, it's like really well lit. It's like a little area, a par designated parking area. It's not fully concrete. It's got gravel area and like a little bit of grass, but there's no mud. It's not gross, nothing like that. So you can park your car there. There's actually people watching that area, I guess, because it's well lit and they're kind of flagging you in as you need to go. When you walk across the street, that's when you'll hit Scream Fest. And when you walk in, I think for the first time I noticed on the left and the right hand side, that it was just these huge kind of buildings and I couldn't figure out what was really going on. But as we were walking in, I realized that they do glow in the dark paintball. So if you really wanna take your paintball game to the next level or you've never done it, you should definitely go because apparently they're open all year for this. And I think they're open till 1 a.m. and you can go in there and you can paintball people up with these little glow in the dark paints. So we'll get back to that at the end because we kind of toured it at the end. Um, but getting to the actual haunt, we walked in, right when you walk in, uh, you'll see like this big spooky face thing. And on the left side, there is um, like, if, if you're looking at the spooky thing, on the left hand side, you're gonna see the ticket booth. And on the right hand side, you're gonna see a little like area for the paintball activities. You'll also see a little picnic area. So if you wanna go during the day or even at night, you need a place to rest up, you can hang out over there. They have Hunt's Pizza, I believe. When you walk in, um, you see uh, like a big, like a concert area, if you will. Uh, and so they had live music going. I'm sure you saw it in the footage. Uh, you can hang out there for a little bit. You can actually go to the left hand side and there's like a lot of carnival games, which, I thought is the most unique outdoor experiences of all the haunted houses I've been to here in Houston. 13th floor didn't really have like an outdoor scene and Creepy Hollow had, you know, an outdoor scene as well. But these guys, I really liked the fact that they had the carnival games. And my favorite game I'm sure you saw in the footage was like this life-size operation. So it's like a big old zombie and you, you know, you, I don't know if, if some of y'all are too young or if you've never played a board game, but it's got these little tweezer things and you have to pick up like body parts without buzzing the site and I guess now that I'm saying it out loud it sounds absolutely ridiculous but you know what we made it through the 90s with it and the early 2000s so you guys should go check it out I think it's three dollars for most of the games you can you know play like the head basketball that I showed um you know there's the ones where you knock the little milk cartons down or it's not the milk carton because they're milk, milk bottles um there's a bunch of little carnival games and the best part is if you are parched, you can get a drink for free. The $40 covers when you get there is all the attractions, free alcohol if you're of age. I think there's like a couple of beers, uh, beer choices on tap that you can get if, if that's how you say it. Basically, they press the little thing down and you can get beer out of it. Uh, you can also get free soda drinks. The games, like I said, are not free. So there is an ATM there. You can pull out some cash. You can go play on the different games if you want. And then there's basically just one middle area to get in line. But one thing I do want to point out, I had this thing and as much as I love all the other haunted houses that I've been to in their special unique way, I absolutely hate the way you guys line up porta potties and I can't, I, I mean, honestly scarier than the haunted house is using a porta potty or like a public restroom. But for Scream Fest, they actually have, like you have to walk in and it's, it's like kind of tucked away in the back, but they have actual restrooms. Like you can sit, 
down and do your thing and you know there's like sinks and stuff it's actual restroom so thank you for having some actual plumbing and not expecting us to use a porta potty very much appreciated several points for that i'm sorry i took a little like sad detour down the restroom thing but that's something that's very unique here and i really appreciated it so there's two lines um, that you can go into and i'm sure you saw the little wormy 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 line that's the regular admission and then if you pay for the fast pass it kind of takes you around same thing you know you get the front of the line you, they give the standard rules like don't run don't cuss they do not touch you the actors here do not touch you so they kind of expect you to do the same thing so don't hit back don't do anything ridiculous but you know you get it I, I noticed when i walked in that there's a lot of kid actors in there right so they're kind of hollering at you and and and, and stuff like that so i was like huh this is new um, and as you're walking through, it's a very traditional haunted house. So they do not rely like 13th floor on a lot of animatronics. This is basically talent only. Um, they also, uh, I guess, I guess, how do I say this? No matter where you go, each room is taken over by like a different type of personality. So there's like a different type of ghoul in each room. Um, and they're all connected. When you're walking through, it's a very, again, like I said, traditional haunted house. So there's no like door openings. There's, you know, not having to uh, figure out which way to go. It, there's a clear path defined for you and you kind of walk through it um, and, and there's all different types of scares. They, of course, they have the loud noises, they have people jumping out at you, they have chainsaws, they have little kids, they have people screaming at you um, and, and they did get me a couple of times, you know, I was like, oh, this is kind of fun, this is cool and then somebody popped out and, um, you know, I, I did the ah thing. So I guess they got me. You know, they're all connected so they're, it's not like you experience one experience come out of the haunt and then you go to another one wait in line and go to another one this is all connected so once you start again it builds up that intensity and you walk through uh you'll be in it for a good 10-15 minutes and as you're walking through i would say that i really appreciated like all the characters that were really taking their job seriously everybody was like really into it and making sure that everybody was enjoying themselves so i appreciated that not only because it takes like actual people to do that it's not relying on animatronics which i'm not dogging it it's just a it's just a different type of experience when you do animatronics versus like live action actors you get out um there are chainsaws like i said uh there there's a few places that um the rooms are just beautiful as well so i i remember those from uh the previous years actually when i was walking through i kind of remembered them um and and there was it's just a whole bunch of different things strung together so anything that kind of like bothers you is definitely in the haunted house now, would I say this is the absolute most scariest haunted house in Houston? No, not not at all. But I would definitely tell you you're going to have fun, you're going to get scared, and the best part is it's not like 13th floor where you might get intimidated and, and walk out or, you know, something that, that you, you know, maybe you're trying to get into a haunted house and you're not sure what it's like. This is probably the haunted house to go to because you can take families. I wouldn't say take your six year old, but I would say, you know, if your, your kid is old enough, maybe 12, 13 and they've never been, or, you know, your mom wants to try it out. Everybody can have fun. It's family friendly. It's um, not overly gory. Um, just a good time. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, except for we had a great time. Yes, we jumped, we laughed, we had fun out at the carnival. I enjoyed watching the concert performance. I, there's no downside to it um the the uh when we leave that's when the coolest part was because i don't know if you guys if you guys saw on the side but there are call of duty um replica towns that they've built one of them is nuketown and when you walk in it's 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 shocking because on the left hand side they have like a little shooting range but you walk in on the right everything down to the cars okay down to the cars has been imported from california so you get an authentic experience even the way the buildings are placed and the inside they're going to furnish it so it looks exactly like the actual maps which is amazing they have all these details and like i said you i'm, not, I'm sure you saw in the footage the glow in the dark uh, what do you call it, paintballs that have hit the wall and everything. So there's certain places we probably shouldn't hold up, but it's a great way to plan your strategy. If you see that much paint in one section, maybe keep it moving. They did tell me that they do have rules where, you know, there is a 15 foot rule, so you can't shoot anybody that's closer than that, which means you can have an enjoyable experience without actually getting hurt. And maybe if it's your first time, you can kind of get warmed up to it. 
I, I know that they have another one on the other side. I think she pointed it out. There's um, another shipping container one in the back as well. So they have several different ones. And actually, they're open year round for that. I think it's called htownpaintball.com. -town -paint I believe it's like 10 to 1 a.m. for the nighttime um, paintball. And I can't remember at the moment. And I think they mentioned that on Fridays, they actually have specials. And for $10, you get, I think, like 50 of those little rounds. And you can go and you can try it out. And if you really like it, you can just pay extra and you can keep playing so it's a great way to try it out and i think me and my friends are gonna go back um now that we know that our relationships and friendships are solid that we can go back and we can take a few hits but that looks amazingly fun and it, i mean like i said they even have a clock tower there it was just amazing oh for the kids side where they where they have like the shooting range um for them to practice they have like i guess i don't play fortnite i've never played fortnite it's it's a, it's a generational thing if you like fortnite or somebody you know likes fortnite you can go like do paintball with like the fortnite characters that are hanging out there so there's that overall like i said i i mean i saw seven different haunted houses all strung together i got to see a concert um you know i got a free soda i got to see some awesome carnival games got to tour uh this cool like paintball place that I wish that I wish dressed appropriately um had we known and there was yes there was like some games going on even at the time that we had gone but I would definitely rate this like if it, on the spooky scale would I give it a 10 I'm not going to give it a 10 on the spooky scale for me I would probably give it like a six or a seven um probably closer to the six side I did jump but I'm very hard to scare but my friends really enjoyed themselves and you know the ones that maybe don't go as often to the haunted houses they really liked it as well if you are a student i would definitely go try this out if you've never been i would definitely go try this out if you have a group and you have people that are kind of iffy but you want to have a good time definitely go check this out is this a must see in houston absolutely it's been there for 20 years like 20 years of service in the haunting business for houston why not go out there show your support the other thing i really like about this is that it is a family-owned business I was not aware that 13th floor, um, the one that I reviewed yesterday, is more of like, I don't know, like they have like different branches and stuff. So it's more of like a corporate structure and places like, I believe, Creepy Hollow, Red Drum, and especially Scream Fest, they are all family owned businesses. And I'm all about supporting family owned businesses. So if you get a chance to go out with your friends and like I said, you're not looking to pee your pants or, you know, like have a, have a nightmare fest and you just want to go out and have a good time, but still get good scares in, definitely go check out Scream Fest. Uh, I'm not sure, um, aside from the $40 tickets, if they have any sales or anything going on, but you can check their site at houstonscreamfest.com. Yeah, guys, that's, that's all I gotta say. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just running through all these haunted houses for you, and the next ones coming up will be next weekend. Um, uh, again, thank you to all haunted houses that have had us, or if you've messaged us or anything like that, we really appreciate it. Please make the most of your Halloween season. Go out there, there's a haunted house for everyone. Definitely top five, um, Scream Fest made it to the top five uh, here in Houston. Go check it out. Um, be sure you go a little early so you can enjoy all the other stuff. Like I said, like the concert, the food, you know, they had some food there too. That uh, I, I think they had corn in a cup, um, which looks pretty good. And they had, uh, what else, pizza, um, sodas, just, just go. I always tell you guys at the end, when, when, when I've just been blabbering, I think for like, it says 14 minutes on the little timer there. I've talked about this place for 14 minutes. You should go. Thanks again to everybody that's been re recommending like the different places for us to go. And uh, you know, I hope that you're enjoying the reviews. If you have a particular place you want me to see before Halloween, please get it to me so I can check it out. And I read all your DMs. I try to respond to them as much as I can and have a great rest of your Halloween season as we truck through it. Bye guys.